Yeah, hello scrappers. <coughs> a beautiful day outside. Now today I've got uh, these statters and uh, thought I'd show us some different ways to get the copper out, get them cut down. So, bring in the vise. I turn that viewfinder where maybe I can see. Some. So, I I'll probably have to turn it the other direction. Now, there's several different ways for the absolute beginner that doesn't really have any tools, a little hacksaw would probably do the trick. And yeah, just start cutting right there. Now that's about all the demonstrating I'm going to do on that one. In the interest of time, unless I put it in uh, <laughs> high speed. But a lot of people like using a sawzall, so I'll go ahead and cut one down there. Probably get a little loud, but See, it's also doing the greatest job. Some, I imagine some of them work a lot better. Uh, I'm going to swing over here real quick and, uh, oops, view the ceiling. This uh, Harbor Freight bandsaw here, I tried using it on the vertical table to do one, and uh, it just wanted to grab and bind and pulled, kept knocking the blade off. And then uh, I tried it on the horizontal and it just started it started kind of cutting good but uh, then just started pulling wires out as you can see that's kind of what the sawzall is doing which I know a lot of people that use the sawzall and uh, it works well for them it's not working too good on this particular motor set this one aside and I'll get a kind of a close-up of the of that put this back over again kind of see it's I think if I stayed real close to the metal it might have may have done better that's I think that's a lot of the trick and a lot of it people that swear by using an angle grinder and I, I have done it this way it works out pretty good it's pretty fast have an angle grinder. Harbor Freight does sell them pretty cheap, about 20 bucks. I think that one there I got a Harbor Freight, but that, that one I believe was about 60. And it does a pretty good cut. You can see I started in real close, but then I got got out there about a yeah, close, three sixteenths. 
Now, check with your yard if you don't already do it and see if they'll take the strings or not, if that bothers them. I usually cut them off and get rid of them. I need to ask my yard because it could save some time. And then from here you just pry it out or whatever. Uh, of course a lot of you have seen the way I do it. Let me uh, get over here and zoom in on the table. <coughs> As you know I usually use the air chisel. It might take a little more time but Pretty, pretty clean job. I'll leave that there for a moment. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit. Now I get varied, varied results with the air chisel. Sometimes it cuts really good, sometimes it starts getting in between the fins and it makes kind of a mess. But, uh, you know, one thing, get your deals out of the way where they're not hitting. And then, a lot of times it works good if you, if you have a side light coming in or you can see it a little better. But I try to get in on top of the plastic between and, and then right up against the metal. probably takes more time and it looks like this this one here looks like it's copper and aluminum and those usually take a little more time to separate you have to be pretty careful I have had it where you know, like if I was doing this side everything is loose so then I'd be sorting wire by wire separate the copper from the aluminum. You're starting to see more and more aluminum windings in these things. Yeah, I think I'm hitting them getting behind some of the plates. I really should have my apron on too. Starting to research other cameras. Saw one I really liked had a remote control and get an external mic and all kinds of nice stuff with it, but I didn't like that $700 price tag. Maybe next year. Kind of looking at a GoPro Hero 7 Black. I know it's a couple of years old, but they're, you can get them now on Amazon for about two, two, 230 And you can hook up an external mic to them. Of course, by the time you pay for the uh, Adapter for the microphone, and then a microphone you're probably looking at about a hundred bucks there. Good. Okay, you see, this took a little longer. Kind of trying to see where I got. Separated here. Let's see where all I didn't quite get cut through at. As I said, sometimes it kind of gets a little messy. Down into the next 
layer. Okay, throw that in a tin bucket. As you can see there, for the most part, for the most part, it did a pretty clean cut. You can see the difference in the copper and the aluminum there if the light's hitting it right. Let me uh, back away a little bit. Now I'm experimenting with another, a third, uh, another way. What is it, a fourth way, fifth way? some of this oil out my gloves. Now, as you know when I was using the angle grinder I had to keep taking that loose from the vise and turning it and that's what you do too. But I got a porta band. How's that for fast? Now that one there was small enough, and that's copper aluminum too. This was small enough. It's under five inches. That's a five five inch opening in that saw, basically five by five. I started in pretty close. I ended up a little further away, but. Did a real nice job, nice and fast. I'm not sure if this one's five inches. Or... Yeah, it's right at about five inches, so that might jump right through it also. find a place to get a bite on it. I think I have a 24 teeth per inch blade in here. I try to run it as fine as I can. Backside's not tied, so it's pulling wires, or maybe pulling them from the backside. So, that may work on some, but yeah, it looks like it's pulling them from the backside. So, that's going to be something to keep in mind if you want to try that method. You have to make sure that both sides have string. You know, this side has string here, and this half here, but this half it doesn't. So I don't know how that will react in there. It might work, it might not. But normally I use the chisel. One thing I was going to say about using the angle grinder is if your blades get wore down, you may not be cutting all the way through. But uh, copper is a soft metal, so it shouldn't wear the blade of uh, the grinding disc down very fast. Yeah, that one's pulling them too. Well, anyway, that was my idea. It's done a few real nice, but uh, then I don't know why it's grabbing on some of these. But uh, as I said normally I use the air chisel. We just suck that one side over there. It might might be fun. What I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to make a splitter where I can cut it and split it right down the center, and then just have two halves. I've got a, uh, a pneumatic jack out in the field that I picked up last winter, about this time of year. So I'm going to try to drag it up here sometime in the next couple months and see what I can figure out with it. So, you may see that in some upcoming videos. So we saw the angle grinder really did pretty good. And the air chisel did good. The bandsaw and the 
Sawzall. And I've tried the Sawzall before and had good luck with it, you know, without pulling wire out like this. So, whatever your favorite method is, you know, that's great. There's no right way, no wrong way. Like, like I say, there are about as many ways to scrap as there are scrappers. Everybody's got their own way. And with this channel, I just try to share information, pass information along. Uh, I try to glean ideas and stuff off of other people that, you know, leave their ideas and comments and try to pass them along. The whole thing is so we can all find an easier way to do it and hopefully faster too for those that you know are really doing it for the money but there are some of us that just do it for a hobby just something to do kind of fun it gets us out of the house away from the TV set so hope you guys enjoyed and if you enjoyed the video uh, Appreciate it if you would subscribe, uh, hit the like button, uh, share the video with your friends, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos, uh, next to the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and then it'll every time I put up a video, you'll be notified. And uh, I guess we'll uh, see you guys in the next video. So, yeah, seeing more and more of that aluminum wire. So you guys take care and uh, happy scrapping and. We'll see you in the next one. I'm going to enjoy this weather. I got a lot of this area closed in now, so it's going to be a little bit warmer out here for a little longer before I have to move indoors and I got to make some room in there. So we'll see you later. Bye bye.